were approached about playing Superman's dad, did you think, I want to play Superman, I don't want to play his dad? No. <laughs> I, I can read the tea leaves. I knew what the call was about. I knew what the call was about. I knew it would be in the corn. I knew it would be all that stuff. <laughs> you just can't get out of the no, corn, just, can yeah. you? <laughs> well, you know, what I think is interesting about this role is your character really, I believe, provides sort of the moral center of the film. You know, how do you handle this extraordinary power that this young man has been given? And how do you also manage being a father of someone who you didn't father, yeah, right? I mean, right, it's, compli right. it's complicated. Well, we want to, obviously, we know when somebody th lands on your doorstep, which, which happens in this fable, uh, it's like, what do you do? And, and I think that we all, Diane Lane, who is really great in the movie, who can't be here, plays my wife. We, we know we have to protect him, and we know if he reveals himself, that he'll be taken away from us. So if any one of you can imagine that, that some, someone would be taken away from you, you, you have to keep the thing a secret. And I think the, the line is a really important line to say, would you stand in front of the human race? Because there's a lot of questions about how we handle ourselves out there in the world and good and bad and we and I know as our human race we keep trying but uh, it's a kind of an interesting thing that this farmer would say would you stand in front of us and he knows it's a question would you be proud to stand in front of us it's interesting that you call it a fable because you have to make this film feel contemporary or it just it, it feels too much like a caricature and I think the filmmakers were very successful at that, Kevin. This is the biggest movie I've ever been a part of, and it, and it really lives up to it. I, I have to say, you know, I make westerns, and so it's usually me in front of a campfire. And this guy has no compulsion about tearing a town down, <laughs> but he does it in such a beautiful way and, and with a great cast. And, you know, we really wouldn't have a movie. You know, we all have to work, and, and, and Lois is a doll. And, and my wife is great, and Russell is great, and, and, and the others are great, but it doesn't work unless Henry works, and it's not an easy role to pull off. It's almost an impossible thing, and uh, you know, y y you did a fantastic job, and Superman works because of him, and it really does. Oh, that's nice. And, and as a, an Academy Award winning director, uh, you know, for Dances with Wolves, is it hard when you're not directing, I mean, is it, do you have the impulse to be like, cut, or, you know, to maybe <laughs> no. do, to give too many instructions? No, I, I tell you, I thank God every day I wasn't in charge of Superman. <laughs> Why? Like, because I, I don't understand it. It's not, it's not the kind of movie that I know how to make. I'm really happy to be a part of it. But this is a big vision. This is a, a, a big time thinker, uh, Zack Snyder. And this is a guy who understands that world that we all are now living with, the visual effects and the new stuff. And he is unafraid of it. And he takes you for a really big ride. And we were able to make this movie that's entertainment. But I've always thought, because I never like believed in Superman as a kid, I, I wasn't even sure how he could pull off, be put on glasses and fake Lois Lane out. I didn't. <laughs> So, yeah, like she wouldn't recognize him. Hello? Like, yeah. So if, as a kid, I, I never bought into it, you know. But I buy into this Superman, and I, I, I just did because it, it's, a, it's robust, if, is all yeah. I could say about it. And you know what's nice, Kevin, is it seems to me that, you know, you've been doing this for a while. Of course, I remember my, I think one of your first films is one of my favorites, which is No Way Out, particularly the steamy scene in the limo. Hello. And maybe it was the uniform, Kevin. I'm not sure what. And this is 25th anniversary of, of Bull Durham coming up, yeah. which is crazy, right? But, you know, it seems like you still really, A, enjoy this, and B, appreciate it. Yeah, I, I understand what the mythology is for all of us. I mean, the movie theater is is one of the first places our parents ever let us go to be alone, right? You know, the world's a kind of a scary place, but for some reason the theater was, okay, you can go to the movies with your friend. And so we go to the movies and the lights go out. I miss the curtain opening. It doesn't open anymore. Because I always thought that was the opportunity for something great to happen. But the movies teach us a lot. They, 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 and we've all gotten to play characters that are stronger than us. Maybe not him, God. <laughs> but braver, smarter. That's what the movies allow us to do and sometimes say the one line you wish you said in a critical moment. That's the movies.